All right, we want to give all praises to our Heavenly Father, Yahweh, in the name of our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai. Peace and blessings to your brothers and sisters throughout the four corners of the earth that are patiently waiting on the second coming in our, in our deliverance. Uh, we're going to kind of go into just a little bit. Um, of course, you know, last week we went to the topic just concerning, uh, you know, some of the principles of the scriptures. I know some of you brothers and sisters may have wanted to know if you have seen the news concerning the um, Donald Trump announcing that he's going to recognize Jerusalem as uh, the capital of the, the false Israeli state. Um, so we're going to kind of just go into first, uh, Ezekiel chapter 36 and verse 5. Therefore, thus said Yahweh, surely in the fire of my jealousy have I spoken against the residue of the heathen and against all Idumia, which have appointed my land into their possession with the joy of their heart, with the spiteful minds to cast it out for a prey. So that's basically what they they have done. When you go into um, Ezekiel. Starting from the 34th chapter, 35 and 36, it's the prophecy against the, uh, the Edomites, right? Um, which are basically, you know, our eternal enemies. Mm -hmm. You know, there's no changing that. The Most High has it to where they just have a, a hatred for us that's so strong that there's nothing that can be done about it until, you know, they're put down out of the way. Right, right. Because the scriptures basically tell us that they have a perpetual hatred, meaning that it goes on and on and on. It'll never stop. So, you know, this is just a telltale sign to let you know that these people will never be your friends. Exactly. They'll never have your best interest at hand, you know. Yeah. And, and, they, the and they show it by, by taking over our property. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And then that shows you that the last day somebody had to possess our land. And right. the most I said it, it was, it was all I do. Yeah. Because they, they did that through their United Nations after World War II. Well, we know we go back further in time, the Balfour Declaration. It was all a, it was a whole process in which they actually were able to appoint that land to themselves. Right. Going back to the father of Zionism, the Theodore Herschel, uh, back in the late 1800s. Then you had then you created the language, uh, basically that you know furthered the deception that they were the people. And then you had basically the, going up into World War One. You had you know uh, the, part, the mandatory Palestine, the first the Balfour Declaration. Yeah. So you got to know how they took this land, and, and now the deception is heavy out there that they're the real people when they're not. But it was prophesied that they would appoint, and yeah, how yeah, the Most High said that is his land yeah, into their right. possession. So he got a personal beef with them. That's right. That's right. And uh, just like, uh, let me get this scripture. This is Isaiah uh, chapter two, start from the top. The word that Isaiah the son of Amaz saw concerning Judah and Jerusalem. And it shall come to pass in the last days, which we're in right now, that the mountain of the Lord's house shall be established in the top of the mountains, and shall be exalted above the hills, and all the nations shall flow to it. And many people shall go and say, Come ye, and let us go up to the mountain of, of Yahweh, to the house of the God of Jacob, and he shall teach us his ways, and we will walk in his path. For out of Zion shall go forth the law, and the word of Yahweh from Jerusalem. And that's, that's what's going to happen. That's what's going to initially happen. But we have to go through certain tribulations, that bumpy area, before we can get to that, that aspect right now. Because right now we have a, a, a no people that's occupying the land, our lands, that the Most High gave to us. And we see in this day and time, man, if you've ever been to Israel, you see how that land has not, has been basically downtrodden by these heathens, man. They said they took it with yeah. the joy of their heart, but the spiteful minds to cast it forth out the way. Yeah. So they, right. they never intended to take care of the land or to do the things required to live on the land, which would be keeping the laws because they can't do that. Yeah. But, they, but what they're doing is they're doing everything against them. Right, right. See, like, if you ever been down to Israel, they have a, a sea down there called the Dead Sea. And it has, it's, it's packed with minerals. I mean, really dense. You can actually just float in that water, man, and just float out, you know what I mean? But what they've been doing is extracting the minerals from the Dead Sea, and the, the sea level of that Dead Sea has been going down exponentially for years and years. And uh, and it's a it's a it's a product. It's it's a, a money making thing, man. They go out and they sell the mineral contents to all these different people. So they pulling the natural resources from the land and just sucking the land dry, man. You know that's what parasites do 
to a body, man. They suck the life out of a body, and then once that body is dead, then they go to a new host. And that's what's happening to the land of Israel right now, man. Yeah. You see all the turmoil that's happening. You see them taking the resources, making money. Because everything's for profit for Esau, man. It's nothing to uplift or to build or to make everyone's life better. It's only to make the life better for those elites, you know, and to put line their pockets. Yeah. The so-called Christian will tell you that they're, those are the real people. Right. But the brother, brother just read, the law of the does not go forth out of Jerusalem. Yeah? Right. It doesn't. And mind you, these people are Zionists. So a Zionist, the main thing should be to be able to be control the world and push forth these laws. Uh -huh. And enforce them. If that's what their true, true Zionists are, but they're not. Right. Right. And that's the reason why they want to have that land because really they're doing it out of jealousy. The elites understand that it's our land and out of spite and out of the joy of their heart, they're doing it to spite us and to spite the Most High to say that they're controlling the money for us. Right, right. You know? That's right, bro. Let's see, what is that? Uh... Saints. 700 bus? Yeah. I might know the time to get to the 700 bus. 700? Man. You, go back that way. Uh, so you know what? Yeah, the bus. Bus, the bus. Yeah, you catch the bus right here on this. Yeah, that was that one. Comes up on this corner right here. You got something? Oh, no. no, no, no this is, uh, we'll go back to the beginning of, uh, of, Ezekiel 36. Also, thou, this is uh, Ezekiel chapter 36, starting at the top. Also, thou son of man, prophesy unto the mountains of Israel and say, Ye mountains of Israel, hear the word of Yahweh. Thus said Yahweh, because the enemy mm. had said against you, Aha, Look at even that. the ancient high places are ours. So, this is prophecy towards the, the land. Right. You know, Jake would be like, you know, they've been told that everything was talking about mountains, talking about governments. Right, right. Most High had Ezekiel prophesy to the land, mm -hmm. speak to the land, and prophesy to the land. Yep. Say, because the enemy had said uh, against you, aha, even the ancient high places are ours, therefore prophesy and say, thus said Yahweh, because they have made you desolate, which the brother was just talking about. Uh -huh. They sucked up all the resources, right. Suck up they all may turn it into a, a desert land. Uh -huh. Because they made you desolate and swallowed you up on every side, that ye might be a possession unto the residue of the heathen. Mm. And ye are taken up in the lips of talkers, and are an infamy of the people. Because now the land of Israel, the land, it's now an infamy. Everybody's like that. Yeah. Everything they're messing with, the whole, that they need to wipe it off. They basically right. now prophesying that the land need to be wiped uh -huh. off. Yeah. Because of the problems that the land is causing over the fighting between the Palestinians and the Israelis. Mm -hmm. So now people hate the land now. Yeah, now they hate the land with it, man. But see, what you have to do, you have to extract the virus out mm -hmm. so that the body can heal, man. That land would heal mm -hmm. once that wickedness comes yeah. out. It's but, become, yeah, it's mm -hmm. become an infamy. It says yep. an infamy of the people. Yep. Mm-hmm. And uh he oh you got some more on it? Uh yeah, I'm gonna just read this last verse because it goes into that where you know a couple of verses. Therefore, it's verse four, therefore ye mountains of Israel, hear the words of Yahweh. Thus saith Yahweh to the mountains, and to the hills, and to the rivers, and to the valleys, and to the desolate waste, and to the cities that are forsaken, which became a prey and a derision to the residue of the heathen that are round about. Therefore, thus said Yahweh, surely in the fire of my jealousy, that's the last part, so he oh, okay. spoke it against so the residue of the heathen, all I do mean, which is the Edomites. Which is the Edomites, and and, and we got some we got some more choice words from the Most High for, for Esau. This is Ezekiel 25, starting at, at 12. Thus said the Lord God, because that Edom have dealt against the house of Judah by taking vengeance, and have greatly offended, and revenged himself upon them. Let's skip down to 14. I and I will lay my and I will lay my vengeance upon Edom by the hand of my people Israel, and they shall do in Edom according to my anger and according to my fury, and they shall know my vengeance, saith the Lord Yahweh. So even though they're in the midst of doing all these things to the land and knocking the people down, 
that's a recompense, man. Mm -hmm. That's a that's a that's a tribulation that's coming to the heathen, man. Mm -hmm. That they they're not even considering right now. Mm -hmm. Cause they look we looking at it right now, man. They building this place up, bro. They man. looking at all this and stuff, and but even also in the land. I was talking to a brother that came from the land, uh, and he came and visited me last week, and he was uh, talking about how they're building up that area over there in, in Israel. Buildings are just being erected, all kinds of stuff, man. And I was just like, I was like, man, I say, how are they doing all that? He said, man, you know they taking all the money from wherever they, you know, they can get their hands on, man. And they just build up those areas. But see, we know that the most high, though, though they building, everything they building is gonna be cast down, man. All that stuff is gonna be cast down. They have the Tel Aviv, that they already done built up, but just that's their, their capital. And right. they had that demonic uh, Knesset, that building, yeah. the demonic stuff up top. Yep, that's right. But basically, the all seeing eye, the pyramid, the top of the pyramid of that. You know, they got that, uh -huh. you know, I think they have the top of a pyramid, yep. the top of the Knesset. Mm -hmm. yep. So you can imagine what they're going to try and build in, in, in Jerusalem. Oh, man, it's going to be horrible, you man. You know what I'm So the Most High gonna, is going to, with the offense that the Most High is going to have, all kinds of stuff going to be happening, man. Oh. Once they start, like, trying to build in that area and they start moving, because they're going to move the rest of them Arabs out of there. Yeah, yeah, that's you right. Know, that's right. They y'all are done for, man. They gonna they gonna just come through and just straight just start hauling people off into the camps, prison, right. massacres, and then once they clear the way, man, they might build a third another temple, man. Yep, that's right. That's right. And then try and say that they're the ones, you know, and put, yep. put somebody in there. You know, there's no putting it past their sickness. Yeah, yeah. Cause you know, in in, in the past, they always been trying to look for that red heifer trying to get the red heifer to yeah. reestablish the, the, the temple and everything, mm -hmm. man. They've been doing that for years, bro, years. And then now you're seeing Donald being the first Trump, I mean the first uh, president to come out there and then talk about Jerusalem being the, the capital or whatever. Man, it, it's, it, it prophecy is manifesting itself. Man. Exactly. This thing is about to go down, down, down. Mm -hmm. It's crazy, man, it's crazy. And it's, it's, it's like the Most High just has to open your eyes up to these things because huh. most people will say, well, I don't give a two rats yeah. tails about Donald Trump making Jerusalem the capital. It means nothing to me. Yeah. But if you follow the scriptures and truth, then you would understand that that's a prophecy, man. Yeah. That this thing is about, you know, the Most High making moves. And I, what would that also prove? That the Arabs are not the Edomites. Yep. That would also prove that the Arabs are not the Edomites. Because if they possess Jerusalem completely, which they're, which they're going to do, right? Because that's their they're working militarily to do that. They've been battling this whole week, man, against them against them right now. So they're going to scoop so, up the rest of the, the the area and territory of Jerusalem and push the Palestinians completely out because they're the ones, man. Yeah, yes. All this madness about some of the Arabs, the Edomites, so, man. So your East Saudi Arabia is out the window. Yeah, come on, bro. <laughs> Shoot. Yo, East Saudi Arabia, man, are you kidding me? These guys kill me with that stuff, bro. Yeah, they know exactly what they're doing, man. The elites. They know exactly what they're doing, man. They want that land for themselves. They coveted that land. Because the Most High gave them a mountain, man. He gave them Mount Seir for possession. In fact, get uh, his uh, Genesis chapter 36. Oh, yeah. Yep. Yeah. That's crazy, you know? bro. That's crazy. They dealt with Seir, man. They dealt with mountains and cave me. This is, Ge this is Genesis 36. Now these are the generations of Esau, who is Edom. Esau took his wives and his daughters of Cain. Uh, let's see. Uh, probably the the last verse. Yes, it's all. What did they say in the last verse? Verse 36, chapter 36. Yeah, that, that's talking about the dudes. I think oh. it's in around about six, uh, seven. Yeah, 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 you're right. It says, uh, and Esau, uh, yeah, I'm just start at six. And Esau took his wives and his sons and his daughters and all the persons of his house and his cattle and all his beasts and all his substance, which he got in the land of Canaan and went into the country from the face of his brother Jacob. For their riches were more than they might dwell together. And the land wherein they were strangers could not bear them because of their cattle. Thus dwelt Esau in Mount Seir. Esau is Edom. Yep. Esau. And, and when you go back and look at Mount Seir, they they, they literally the structure looks exactly like this right here. Right? right, right, right. All these all these buildings. You look at Petra. Yeah, you Petra. got these big big columns, man. If you ever go down there, man, it's, it's it's amazing to go and see. If you go down to Petra, man, you'll see these columns like you see in Rome and 
those columns, yeah. you see Esau's signet, signature yeah. uh, craftsman. Yeah, 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 his architecture all throughout the world, man. Yeah. This is what he does, man. This is his thing. Yep. You know? Look at that, the columns right there. Yep. Only thing, you see the four columns. Boom. Yep. This is Esau's kingdom, man. Yeah, that's his MO, man. That's exactly how he built up Seir. And then what they'll tell you, Esau would be like, no, that was built later on. They're, no, bro. No, they had no. a freaking, what's the guy that the eagle, his yep. mascot? His mascot. At the top of that joker. Yeah. That joker looked just like your court. You go to a courthouse, you go to the Capitol, you go to a, a yep. like, you know, like that building. A couple of them. This one right here on the left. Uh-huh. He got that 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 triangle. Yep, yep, yep. And then the one up, that big one up there. Yep. That's Esau's architecture. That's the reason why it, when when he went down and the Middle Ages started, that you, you saw the castles. In uh -huh. the Middle Age structure, it was. It clearly shows you it was two separate people that ruled Europe during them time. Yep. yep that's and then right. what happened when the Renaissance came? It came right back. It came right back in, bro. It came right back in. They started kicking Jake out of out of uh, out of that, those areas, man, and start taking back over again. Because mm -hmm. that word Renaissance means the rebirth. That's right. Rebirth of Esau coming back into power. Putting his stamp on. Uh, who's that? Oh, that that yeah. Oh, that's it. <laughs> Oh, that's, is that his other car? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's in his. Uh, that's in uh, his daughter's. Yeah, okay. He got the. He got the thing fixed up. Oh, okay, shoot. I ain't know the brother was gonna be able to make it or not, man. <laughs> yeah, look at that Malachi. Yeah. But yeah, man. You know, for for everybody who's trying to, you know, if you look at uh, the Saudi Arabian architecture, it's not the same architecture as Esau's architecture, man. Mm -hmm. You can look at all uh, his 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 signature. You know, that's his signature, the eagle. You look at Rome, the eagle. Yep. You know, you have books where you know Israel basically shows. You know, I think it was uh, uh, something of the Jewish civilization, art of the Jewish civilization. I can't remember the name of the book where they basically come out talking about Edom, Rome. Yep. So it letting you know that those those so-called uh, Caucasians are Edomites. Man. Yeah. And yeah, there's multiple books that have. Uh, like I got the uh, I got a Bible dictionary. The Erdman's, the Erdman's Bible Dictionary, they have a section where they tell you that many uh, documents show that the that the that the, that the that the Israelites or the Jews that was in ancient Israel called yep. the Romans Edomites. Yep, that's right, that's right. It's even in your Bible, your Bible names. It didn't say East Saudi Arabia. It said Edomites. Right? Yep. And so you know, you go and look in your history books and see who the Romans were. Yeah. So it, you know that's. I mean, I don't, I don't see where this, this, this doctrine is coming from, man. It's just, you know, it's just more more confusion being thrown into the pot of, of Babylon, man. Yeah. And trying to get y'all off the track of righteousness and start to, you know, use some redirection on you, man. Yeah. And, because if you don't believe it's him, you're gonna have, not only going to have your guard down, but you're going to you're gonna basically be trying to either save him. There's all kinds of stuff that right. goes into those false teachings. Uh-huh. That's right. Man. That, that if you believe in him, you're going to start laxing. Then yeah. you're gonna start saying that the Babylon is not uh, this place is not Babylon the Great. Yeah. Before you know it, you're talking it's something else complete. Man, you're talking about the when the condition of our people is like the most confused state is here. Woo! Because I mean, in, in this, in our, in our, among our people, uh -huh. it makes sense to have the baby, then decide if you want to be with the with the man or the woman. You know? Uh huh. It's backwards, man. It's, it's backwards. Babylon. And then when you talk to Jake, they be sitting there looking at you crazy. When yeah. You say that's not the right way. Ah, Lee, man. Thank when you. it's been the right way from the beginning of the time. Come on. Man, get with the woman, child, woman. And you and a woman together. Yeah, that's man. it. And that's it. Here it's like, man, man. That's my baby dad, that's my baby mom. And it's just natural. And they, yeah, they think it's right. Oh, yeah, yeah. And then, you know, in this society, man, you know, they slap a child support on you. This thing wasn't back in the, in the ancient world, man. That, one, that man just took the child and they went about their business, man. If that woman didn't want to... You know, be that. That was his property. Yeah, yeah. You know, that's his property, man. See, because this thing right now is illegal. Yeah. You know, this is illegal the way they they doing the brothers right now, locking the brother up for for child support. Child support. Come on, man. That's wicked, man. Yeah, very that's weird. all against all against the. Hey, Esau don't care if you put if you was spending money and your kids on top of the child support you're paying. Esau don't give a damn about that. And that's why you got women that get upset because oh, you don't want to give something for kids. Well, listen, I just. Got three hundred dollars taken out of my paycheck last week. Yeah, what you Go need? Go get the kids some some clothes. Right, right. Why are right. you calling me to get the kids some clothes when they're ready to take it out the paycheck and you stay with the kid in the section eight home house you in? Yeah. Then you gonna get on me, but if I put the money in and give you that money, when I go to the court, 
you ain't gonna tell the judge that I gave you a thousand dollars. Right, so right. So why am I gonna, you know, that's why guys start getting funny yeah. uh, with, they, with, with that stuff thing, man. And, and, and it's kind of crazy, man. You, 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 you know, you guys will look at this, at this country and say, oh yeah, this is the best country. Well, they established a constitution in this country, but then they don't apply the constitution to you. They create statutes for you so you can go to jail. Because there ain't nothing in the Constitution say, oh, you got to pay child support. Yeah. You can't go into their Constitution. And we don't abide, we, we go according to the laws, statutes, and commandments. But since they say that this land is run by the Constitution, you, the Constitution doesn't say anything about child support. It yeah. created a new statute, not a law, but a statute. Yeah. And you are being done in by these guys, man-made statutes. Yep. And that's what's so cold about this, man. You know, I, you know, I, that's why, you know, in that book of Hosea, when it says, our uh, people perish for lack of knowledge, that truly is the case because, you know, we, we, we live in this country, but we don't know any of the laws in the state that we live in, in yep. the country we live in. We don't even desire to even read it because you've been educated away from it. Yep. You don't, and you know, and every, every law, uh, and that constitutional law is based off of this book right here, man. Educating their kids, they not oh, they don't well, put their kids right. in public schools, man. Yeah, they, they go they go to uh, private schools or they go to their shul, their, their synagogues, and teach their teach their kids, man. They don't get the same education as as Jake yeah, gets. Jake is getting uh, Jake getting the shaft. Right? Yeah, <laughs> man. They they come out they come out prepared to operate in this society, man. And see, our, our kids, our, our people, they they not willing to pick up a the Bible, the most powerful book on the planet, mm -hmm. to even address issues that they're having today, man. Yeah, they 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 they, they actually started to talk against the word. Yeah. Like the, like certain rappers, J. Cole. I heard J. Cole the rapper say something. Oh, the Bible ain't helped us. Um, what's his name? Just dropped a new song, Scarface. Right, and right. In the song, he was saying, he said the Bible ain't helped us because of. Yeah, y'all learning from the song. Man, man. Yeah, we're trying to tell y'all, like, it's not, the way he's breaking down is not correct. Or people don't want to listen. They, they don't want to listen, man. Being guided by by their own belly, man. And they're and they basically saying, that, you know, like, we're, we're going to probably get into that Malachi. Yeah, yeah Malachi you, 3. Yeah, yeah, get to Malachi 1. Because one. one is out love us. But I'm going to get yeah. this real quick. Yeah. This is Jeremiah chapter 2 and verse uh, 4. Hear the word of Yahweh, O house of Jacob, and all the families of the house of Israel. Mm -hmm. Thus said Yahweh, what iniquity have your fathers found in me? Uh, look, look. Come on. Come He's on, like, well, he, like, you trying to say it's my fault. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's what he's saying. What, the what? most high is saying, what iniquity have your fathers found in me? That they have gone, that they are gone far from me and are walked after vanity and are become vain. Man, hey, man, it, like the most high didn't, man. Man, we have, man, you know what, man, we, we got the most difficult people on the planet. We have to have the most difficult people on the I'm planet. I'm telling you, man. Our people are the hardest to convince of anything, man. Now you, you, now you really got to look at it and say, man, if you're coming out of this thing and you you part of Israel, man, you truly have to be the elect, bro. <laughs> yeah, you do, Because we like the sand of the sea, man. And as much as you try to pound in Jake's ear, look Jake, look Jake, look Jake, uh, uh, don't eat pork Jake. And then you come into Israel and then you tell Jake, Jake, the Sabbath is not according to the loop no moon, Jake. And then, you yeah. know, like you, you fighting mm -hmm. with Jake constantly. This is not a, this is not an easy thing, man. Yeah. It's like you. That's my son, Ock. I said, bro, it's different when you're in the world and you're dealing with your people. Yeah. When you get into the truth, you have to push this. Man, Woo! you got to fight every day, man. You got to fight with this thing every day. And then you got to get with That's up next level, man. Yeah, that's some about this, man. some about this right here. This thing. This thing right here causes some problems right here, bro. Man. Yeah. With our nation. You know, that's like in the book of Eli, when that when that dude, that Edomite came up to uh, Denzel and he was like trying to get that book from him, he said, man, with that book, 
Yeah. I can control, you know, because they, they knew that this book. <laughs> yeah, we wanted to have to run off with Eli. <laughs> hey, yeah, man. we did. We wanted that. Hey, man, yeah, yeah. The, the huh? power in this book, and you see how it's... it's you it's, realize this is the most powerful thing on the planet, mm -hmm. bro. Cause they, For you, real. Because you see how guys, when they first came in, you would say, oh, man, that's a cool brother, man. He, 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 he locked in. He locked in. But then he starts to take away with doctrine. Then next thing you know, he bugged he out. Threw. This thing can make you a powerful individual or it can make you the basis of men. Hey, hey, I showed the brother about your shark. Your shark dipped out. Yeah, oh, oh. The brother I showed you about, the guy who quit. Yeah. Quit teaching oh, yeah, kind of, kind of, you all together. I, I quit, I dipped out. Man, and it ain't good. That dude was in the thing nine years or so, eight, nine years. Yeah, yeah. man. You, and, then, and he was powerful and the most I was using him when he left. Yeah. You know, but then he just started listening to the other doctor. Now, yeah. you tell him yeah. all the time, I said, ah. I yep. talked to the brother yesterday. That brother talked about the virgin birth. Woo! You right? Remember? And we had to go in on the virgin birth. He didn't hear that. Then next thing we know. saw it, bro. Remember, I said, I said, I, I yeah. said this brother. I said, I said this dude about to be gone. Yeah. I yep. said, I said, yep. I. I yep. talked to this dude. He about to be out of there, bro. Yep. I'm telling. Cause he was talking to him. I could hear the little. Yep. It's like when you, it's like them little little, them little buzzwords. Come on, right? And then them things. So you like, hold up, bro. You you going into left field with that? But see, a lot of times, man, you try to you try to get Jake the benefit of the doubt, cause you're like, yeah. man, Jake. Know better than that. He probably has a slip up. Yeah. You know, talk to him again. I don't That's why it was a shock when he left because we saw it like the, a year, like nine months before it happened. Yeah, because he, he was already seen. I was like, ah, the more you I said, <laughs> he just said this. He just, <laughs> he just said such and such. He just said it. It wasn't a slip up. He said this, man. And it's stick, he's sticking with it. Then so. he was like, the tribes ain't the tribes. He's in the Northern Kingdom. Oh, the Northern man. Kingdom. Then they start going to all Negro Israel, yep. man. You like. Meanwhile, his wife is uh, Mexican. Oh, right? Man. <laughs> yep. Yep. Then we was like, I told him, I said, get away from you. Get away from you. Yep. I yep. said, get away from that man. He's going to destroy you. And then, and then. And he was still teaching his own father doctrine. Yep. To this day, bro. I still get alerts with him. Yeah, he, it, it's, see, man, and this is what we're talking about, man, when, when you're going through these principles. You're going through these principles, man, and you lock in with the Most High. That's right. And so that the Holy Spirit can work with you, man. Because yep. then, because now what happens? It, it, somebody can throw a doctrine at mm -hmm. you. They can throw a doctrine at you. And let's just say, hypothetically, if you start to get reeled into it. Yeah. Another brother who is strong in the faith, he can come in and say, bro, that's not right. And then you can hear it. The Holy Spirit can allow you to hear that and pull you out of it, man. Yep. Because it, it's not to say that every brother is going to be, you know, ripped up and strong in spirit in this doctrine. But then that's why you have brotherhood to where you can pull the brother out. Because yep. you come in, because when you talk to brothers, you find out what they're thinking, what, what's on their mind or whatever. Yep. You're looking at doctrine and you said, hey man, look, I was looking at this, what you think about this here, man? And then you can tell if a brother is really into that or not. And he's like, brother, that's folly. Hey, we can go into that and we can address it. And then, you know, the spirit be with the brother and then pull you out of it, man. That's why you got to have these principles, man. Understand your enemy. Understand yeah. how Esau is hitting you up, man. Yeah, you get those principles, man. Your foundation is good, man. Any, anything that comes out is not going to shake you. It's not going to shake, man. And you're going to know once you train your um, your ear. Yeah. You train your, it's like it says, it says that they've trained their mind to, to uh, they've trained their minds to discern both good and evil. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Paul was talking about that, I forgot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That goes into when you go into the milk. Yeah, yeah, when you go into now, that. I believe that's in Hebrews. You know what I'm saying? That, that's in Hebrews. About training, about how, you know, you need to be in that milk and get to the point where, you know, you can, once you get past that milk, your, your mind's gonna be exercised. That's yeah, because you, you did a class on that. I can't remember what you did. Yeah, I did that the other yeah, day. Yeah. Is that 13 and 1? No. Sir, get it even. Yeah. 13 and 1? This is uh, Hebrews chapter 5. 5. Then verse... Uh, uh, man, this is 7. Hold on. Hebrews chapter 5. Start about the 12. The 12, maybe? yeah. Verse 12. Yeah. For when the time that you are... Oh, well, that's the teaching. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, 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 that's yeah that's it. It. For the, when the time you are to be teachers, ye have need that one teach you again. Which be the first principles of the oracles of the Most High. Which is, bro, ah, that's the thing that's so tough is, is if you've been five teaching one? and then you've been teaching wrong. Five, five, one. Oh, five and twelve. Five and twelve. Okay. Yeah. And, and and are become as such as have need of milk and not of strong meat. For everyone that is 
that useth milk is unskilled in the word of righteousness, for he is a babe. But strong meat belongeth to them that are full age, even those who by reason of use have their senses exercised to discern both good and evil. And see, that's what the brother was talking about, you know, trying to discern good and evil, man. And that's that, that's that person who's been exercised, man, he knows the difference. That, brother, that babe, he may not know the difference, man. Don't, don't he be baptized. The strong brother come in there, man, and help him out. Cool out, bro, you know? Yeah. That's best. Yeah, that's why we go over the principles, man. Some of the basics. Because mm -hmm. sometimes, you know, it's just like when you go into the allegory, you go into like what a, a sheep is. A sheep is, is, is doesn't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, but really, you have to follow the Allah Shai. He's a chief shepherd. Okay. And we gotta, you know, pay attention to those words, man. You, you get that red letter, and you, you get those basics in you, man. When someone says something, uh -huh. come to you about the Vatican being Babylon the Great, you like. Mm. Right, right. You know, I go precept upon precept. Yeah, Babylon yeah. Babylon's supposed to be destroyed without an inhabitant. Right. You know, you start going through the different different things that you know to be just on a on a surface level true. Right. You're like, hmm. Uh huh. I don't know about that. But why would all these all all of them just conspire to destroy Babylon by fire? Mm hmm What is so great about Babylon that they gotta come together? Right. And with, with one consent to 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 destroy Babylon by fire if it's just the Vatican, one little small area. Uh, are they going to go and kidnap all the cardinals and bishops of the Roman Catholic Church around the world and then put them in one place and burn them with fire? Hey man, I, you know what, you know, when, when, when you start going through these doctrines, you, tr you truly start to see that Israel are truly sheep, man. Yeah. They are truly yeah. sheep. I watched, I watched this little documentary on sheep and it we shows did. how these, these, these sheep, they would go into this, it was like a killer bush. Yeah bush would wrap them up and they just get caught in the bush and the cheek trying to get out in the bush is just it's just killing them uh, just cutting them up and everything and you know what the other sheep would do follow right behind that same sheep that's about to die inside this bush man that's exactly how they do at the slaughterhouse look at that yep. man like at the slaughterhouse the other ones would be in the front howling yeah. and screaming because they be screaming yeah. Yeah. yeah like when they getting slaughtered and follow right up and in then come the other ones just right behind it right in line yeah, doing the same thing yeah oh man that's great yeah we we sheep man it's it's like man you see our people it's and really look, easy for a sheep to be like a straight yeah man oh yeah they, they, their ear is just you know they hear something, they'll be like, they like, don't follow that. They're like, they're, they're like Stoics yep. and Epicureans, man. Yep. Always desires to hear something new. Yeah. And then they just like, following it. That's you why know they gotta what I mean? have a shepherd. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. That's right. That's right. Because the uh, sheep are just wonder lost on the mountainside. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Wouldn't even know what to go do. Wouldn't even know where to go graze it. Yep. Yeah. And wander right into the wolf. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Looking the right. Be hollering too. Yeah. They still be. Oh, they, yep. hey, that, that what's going on over there? Right. Yeah. <laughs> <Here. Right. laughs> hey, just go on ahead and chomp down. He like, man, yeah, we just gonna sit here and let him come to us. Why they need the shepherd? Shepherd gonna protect them. Yep. Give them protection. Yep. Gonna feed them. That's right. Yep. And they talking about the elders a great millstone, man. Yeah. <laughs> I showed that brother that lesson with Kazak talking man. about. The door, the, the, the shepherds of the flock. It, it's about the elders of Great Millstone. Oh, man. Boy. Hey, you don't come to them. When, when you have a shot, say, I am the door and the way. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, man. It's like, man, what are these guys reading, bro? I'm telling you. The worst thing about it is the guys that teach them, they know he's going off. Yeah. They, 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 they just like, good job, son. Yeah. <laughs> that's, how, that's how bad it is in this room, man. Yeah, we yeah. got people that know they're teaching false doctrine, man. And that, that's, that's sad that, that when you see the new brothers coming in, and then they just get engulfed in it, when you already know what that's about, you, you know, your heart go out to them brothers, man, because you know they, they about to get engulfed in all that folly, bro. Yep. And then you come and say, hey, man, the baptism, blah, say, blah, say, oh, man, the baptism is the word. You don't have to get different in that water. Yeah. And it's like, okay, well, your, your, your Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shah did it, and then one of the most, the, the person who wrote most of the, the, the New Testament did it. Yep. You know, and, and showed the, the, the same path or the same straight way. But, then, but then you want to reject it. Yeah, that's all you got to show them. Who, 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 who the, 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 the gospel account? So they're causing the uh, problems. Who is that? Oh, bro. You just can't even focus. Oh, boy. Oh. So, yeah, when you go into the actual gospel account, 
it shows you who rejected baptism, man. Yeah. That should let you know where you stand if you reject the baptism of Yahweh. Right, right, right. You know, right, that's you, right. You were among the Pharisees, scribes, and lawyers. Uh-huh. Rejecting right. the counsel of Yahweh. Against yourself. That's why we have to go through these different principles. Because for one, like we brought out earlier, we're talking about Edom being an enemy, yeah. being an enemy unto us. We gotta, how are you going to get delivered from them right. if you didn't take the proper steps to show yourself worthy? And, and, and like of we, salvation. Yep, and what we used to bring out earlier, I know this brother used to bring it out a lot, man. Just look, Edom has his hand in all of that, bro. In, 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 re, in refusal of the baptism, yep. keeping brothers away from the baptism, yep. changing the name yep. so that you are baptized in the wrong name. This, this is what your enemy has done to you, bro. And so then you think you're on the right path, but then you took a crooked path. Yeah, because some of these men, they, they're doing it for filthy lucre's sake. Yep. You know, that's what I told one guy. And I'll tell you the one I, 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 I did the uh, ride with. Uh -huh. I was telling him, I was like, I said, do you know the history of, of one? Do you know the history of one less? It's like, if you don't get in this thing, see, Jake is not as. See, Esau, when they get something, they'll look at, like, if Esau joins the company, right? Right. Esau will go and look at the history. He will. Who was the founder, when it was founded, what, uh, what it used to be called. <laughs> Jake don't do that. Jake, Jake don't do that, man. I used to, man, I had this young cat at my job. It's funny that I bring that up. This young cat come in here, man, he probably about 12 years under me, man. And he come in there and he's like, Oh yeah, yeah. That's that's the uh, uh, what do they call it? Uh, the, 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 the the model of the company or whatever. Dude knew the model, knew who the originator was, what it was, what the name was before it turned into the name it is today. I'm like, dude, what what man? He said, I like to know about what I'm doing, bro. Mm -hmm. Esau likes to know. He searches out things, man. Yep. That's what Esau does, man. Yeah, Jake will just jump into why you are And then you don't even know your own, your own leader's teaching name, yep. what group he used to be a part of, what he left and why did he leave it. Right, right. You know, you got to look at the origin of things, man. Mm -hmm. And like we said at the beginning of that whole setup with One West, the initial, what's it called, you know, all the vivids you had, you know, he probably was what's well, called you know sincere, but he let Amalek get his hands in it and give him money to set up a, the school in, on 125th Street, man. Which is why, on, man. Like that's yeah. that's money, bro. You can't be in the heart of Harlem and, and, and not have bread, bro. You gotta have money to run up them type of places. And then call it the Israeli school. That's a yeah. telltale sign for you right there. Yeah. Who who started up the Israelis? Because yeah. the name tells speaks it all. But see, that's what that's what Esau does, man. He puts it in plain sight. Yeah. And he'll put it in your face and then be like, look, idiots. Yep. We telling them who who's starting this up and they gonna they gonna eat it hook, line, and sinker, man. Yeah. Right. Because why wouldn't they want to do that? First of all, the Mamlekites about 20 years before had just taken the land. Right, right. So they're already establishing themselves as the real Israelites. Now you come in here and talk about the thing that your people are, they gotta control that, man. They gotta do what's called controlled opposition. Yep, yep. Just like they did NAACP was created by them. Right, right. <laughs> I mean, yep. They're founders of NAACP, all these groups that these Black major groups. Matter. Black Lives Matter? Yeah. Yep. They control all that, the man. They control the earth. What else? No, no I say that's the latest. Yeah. yeah. But you show Jake, they could be like, oh no, you don't want to. Okay. <laughs> Shoot yourself, man. You, you, man. you, you know, go, go ahead and do, do it. That's why Jake's going to be shot when all hell breaks, man. Ooh, man. They're going to be shot, man. That's why we have to understand the times and prepare the times that we're in. Because you know, the scriptures say, man, let me get that. That's a uh, loop. That's Luke 16, I think. Yeah, while you're getting that, let me get this uh, Acts chapter 20. Acts chapter 20 and verse... Uh, uh, Acts chapter 20 verse 27. For I have not, for I have not shunned to declare unto you all the counsel of Yahweh, which part of the counsel Back in Luke chapter 7, the council of Yahweh was not to you. Right, right. He didn't shun to not tell you that. Either. <laughs> right, right, right. You know, by the grace of Yahweh, man. Verse 28, take heed therefore unto yourselves and to all the flock over which the Holy Ghost hath made you overseers to feed the church of Yahweh, which he had purchased with his own blood. For I know this, that after my departing, shall grievous wolves enter in among mm. you, not sparing the flock. 
and also of your own selves shall men arise speaking perverse things to draw away disciples after them. Look at that, man. You see, that's why that's why it's so imperative to get these principles down, man. So that those wolves, when they come in, man, you can be like, that's a wolf right there. That's a, you know what I mean? You can identify them. Yeah. But see, our people, they, they want to skip over the principles and get into the deep end of yeah. it. But then, when they get caught in a little little jam, they like, oh, well, what, how did I get here? Well, bro, first of all, you you rejected the Most High in the beginning, and now He didn't put you over to your own thing. Now, man, you got caught up. That's why the scriptures say this is uh this is Luke 16, Luke 16, starting from the eighth verse. And the Lord commended. This is speaking of the unjust steward. Uh, and the Lord commended the unjust steward because he had done wisely. For the children of this world are in their generation wiser than the children of light. That's so true. Bro. That's a true statement right there, man. And when you study the unjust steward, look what happened, man. His Lord was about to get ready to kick him out of there. He's like, man, let me go over here, cut the price in half. So yep. when he do do that, you know what? I have mercy to these guys. They're going to see that I didn't help them out. So then I can come in there. And you see the story of that, bro. <laughs> you see the story of that, man. It's like, man, be wise in what you're doing, bro. Yeah. You know, you see that collab. <laughs> it mean, it mean you got to, you got to deal with somebody a certain kind of way when you see trouble coming. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? What, what did he say right here? He said, uh, it was a statement. He said, I say, uh, verse nine, and I say unto you, make to yourselves friends of the madmen of unrighteousness. <laughs> <laughs> right. That when ye fall, they may receive you into everlasting habitation. <laughs> you got to be wise, bro. Hey. You got to know how to operate in this thing, man. Play them hey. avenues. <laughs> <laughs> right. Hey, man. And hey, that's why some of the people, uh, some of them Jake took, took deals, man. Because they know they ain't going to make it. <laughs> Real talk, bro. Right, right, right. Some that's of them right. guys is wiser than Jake that's trying to, you know. Uh -huh. Yeah. yeah Jay-Z was just like, man, he heard about that Israel thing. He's like, man, you know what? That ain't really for me. Let me, let me hey, man, look at me. Let me go to Amalek. Let me go over here to Amalek, man. Let me go to Amalek and, and live it up. <laughs> <laughs> until, until, you know? Yeah, you man. Know, they're going to take care of me until, yeah, you know, until, the, until the time of the end. Until the threshing. Yeah. <laughs> Shoot. You'd be in everlasting habitation with him in the flames. Yeah, man. Shoot, man. He's just like, whoa. But see, I, I, I people, man, wisdom, man, it, it, it flees, bro. Mm -hmm. it, it flees from my people. They not willing to hear anything. Yeah, that's why most I call our people Sodish, man. Yeah, Sodish children. Sodish, Sodish means people. stupid. Real stupid. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Yeah. Sodish people. They are wise to do evil, but to do good, they have no knowledge. Mm -hmm. Tell Jake about something. Mm -hmm. Jake is refusing it from the jump. Mm -hmm. He ain't trying to hear nothing. Well, who, who told you that, bro? Well, hey man, the scriptures is read the script. You understand it off, bro, but I got precepts to it, bro. Yep. That line up. I got precepts that tell you that these are the correct days. I got precepts on this, man. That show you. Then Jake could come out with his precepts and tell you a double moon. You know, and you be like, come on. <laughs> double moon. What, what's a double new moon? <laughs> I never seen that before. But Boy, that was a new one right yeah, there. That was new. That was and he new. had to prepare so, so, he said, hey. you guys don't know. I mean, I'm not going to go that to That was a really. new one. Y'all don't know. There's there's actually a double new moon. Oh, come on, man. I was like, another doctrine. You've never doctrine. seen it in the scriptures. <laughs> another doctrine. Another double doctrine. Double new moon. Hey, man, that, that's some wild stuff, man. That's some wild stuff. Yeah. I just, I, I, you know, hey, Jake, Jake is amazing, man. I'm trying to go through. He got to open it up. But them, yeah, I wonder why they uh, the cops were doing. What? They had the cops out there. Yeah. They're putting something top secret in that thing. Yeah, bro. Because they always build it Because it's like, it's like. Yeah. Why, why would that? Why would that dude come over here? You see what I'm saying? Why would he come over there and, and toot the, the thing at him and tell him to open it up? It's like what they didn't tell you that they was gonna do something. Mm -hmm. Bro, I don't know what it is, but man, man, that, 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 that area, that, that place has been being built up for so long, bro. bro there must be some kind of underground portal there or something that they trying to create. Because they stay building over there. They didn't put the wrong tape right here, bro. That's crazy, bro. I don't know what is going on <laughs> over there, bro. 
man. They've been and building their on and off for years, bro. And they, they close that space off all the time. And it's always been underground when they've been working. Mm -hmm. It looked like they removed something from under there. Some big structure. They carried it off earlier. So they moved something from that was down under there. It almost looked like it was like a, uh, like somewhere with a bunker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Someone yeah. could lodge it uh -huh, when they those, pulled it out. Those things are huge, man. Those things are huge. It looked like you, they, could, you could fit like a, a, a group of people in there comfortable. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty. It was pretty big. It's pretty big. Yeah, it might have been blowing itself. The vapors. Oh, oh. Which I don't know. What, I don't even know what the whole thing is. I don't know if it's because it doesn't have nicotine. I don't know what the hell. What what it's for? It's got flavor. It's got flavor in it. Yeah, they different flavors. We right here blowing on one. Yeah. So. But some of them had nicotine. Yeah, that, there's a lot of money in that, man. They got them vape shops. Yeah. Yeah, our people, man, we just gotta, we gotta do better, man. We really do. Yeah. I know the guy said, I told you, he was saying that we gonna all get it. We're all gonna see eye to eye in the kingdom. I said, no, we not. No, no, we not. I said, no, we not. <laughs> I said, ain't gonna be kingdom all of a sudden, y'all getting it. Well, who knows? Who will tell us what's right, what we did wrong, what right. was right, what was right. No, no. Nah. Okay, you brother, you had the rain wrong. Oh, you, brother, you said there was no name. Okay, here's the name. That don't make no sense. That means there's no reason to, to, to strive. Yeah. What are you striving for? Yeah, that's confusion, man. That shows this is Babylon, man. Yep, that's right. It's the land of confusion. That's what it means. It's a total land of confusion. This is uh, Jeremiah chapter 2 and verse 11. Hath a nation changed their gods, which are yet no gods, but my people have changed their glory for that which doth not profit. That's our people. Yep. Yeah. Doing the Tom Moose thing, we was watching that documentary earlier. Yeah, yeah. That documentary was heavy. They, that's a heavy documentary, man. I he really broke it down, because I already had the little names of all the different, what's it called? But, yeah. He just showed you the evolution of how they took that map that Simurabis and Tamuz and, and how it spread across the earth. And they using the, the, the feminine, um, how did he put it, the feminine power yep. uh, uh, to, to encapsulate, to entrap the earth. Yep. And man, all And that's a heavy energy. Yeah, that's a heavy and energy. And it was known yeah. back then that that's a heavy energy to push that, that, feminine, that feminine energy right. to take down, yeah. to control society. Right, right. They did, they did a masterful job at that, bro. They did a masterful job because when you think about man that the Easter egg thing, I, I was I told the brother, I was like, man, I was yeah, I don't know about the blood part. Yeah, yeah, I that was, put it on the Easter egg lesson last yeah. year, but I didn't go yeah. into the uh meaning of it. All right, man. I, you know? The origin of that man, just 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 to throw it out there, you know, what they would do, they would impregnate women. The women would have the kids, and the kids that the women had prior, they would sacrifice. And then that's where you get the the, the the eggs, which is symbolic of fertility, dipped in the blood of those children. That's, man, that stuff is demonic, bro. And man, our people doing that stuff, man. When after I saw that, it just, it, rung, it rung so much louder in my ear that, man, our people are through if they don't get out of this stuff, man. They are totally embracing a devilish, a devilish, uh, uh, Doctrine. Yeah, and our people were sacrificing their own children to, to Molech. Yeah, yeah. Man, that stuff is Which right now is in the form of abortion. Mm -hmm. That's why that energy of that energy of sacrifice yeah. is among our nation still. Yeah. It just was, what is being done is, is in the form of abortion. Ooh. And some of those abortion clinics got like the uh got like a, the uh, like a Molech. Like I forgot one of them had like I seen an abortion clinic and they had the actual owl. Yeah. Which is a representation yeah. of Molech, which mm -hmm. requires child sacrifice. Sacrifice, right? I've so these are the abortion clinics and the people that run that. They know at the higher level what it's about. It's about sac child sacrifice and getting that demonic energy. Yeah, man, they gotta, they gotta. Our people gotta do better, bro. They, they just got to. Yeah, that's why for our people that have, have done that, you have to believe in your Yahweh Shai. You receive that forgiveness of your of your see. sins, your transgressions, because He's gonna hold that against you. Yeah, yeah, like that uh, Second Ezra 16, man. Amen. Woe be unto those who are bound by their uh, by their sins, yep. and laden with iniquity. You know, and the end result is fire. Fire. It's 
So that that you gotta watch out for that, man, because you know this world, man. I'm, I don't know how many times I can say it, man. I, how did you maze through all of this wickedness, man? Mm -hmm. You know, you know, and, and brothers don't, you know. I know you got these big groups, but then when you go to the scriptures, man, you see all these, like the Pharisaical, the Pharisees, the Sadducees. These were the groups of those times. Yeah, those were the popular. Oh yeah, you're a Pharisee, you're a Sadducee, you know, those were the main groups. So everybody runs to a main group right now, man. Yep. You know, they didn't they didn't think highly of the group of the Galileans. The Galileans, they was like, oh, those are unlearned men right there. They yep. don't they yep. don't know babes in the truth. You know? But hey man, look, like your Howard Shah said, my sheep hear my voice and the stranger they shall not follow. So you know, you just have to have that earpiece, man, to understand where that truth is coming from. Yeah, this is uh, Matthew chapter 7 and verse uh, 13. Enter ye in at the straight gate, mm. for broad is the get wide is the gate, and broad is the way that leadeth to destruction. Yep. And many there be which go in there thereat. Because straight is the gate, and narrow is the way, which leadeth unto life, and few there be that find it. Yep. See? Right so now, that's letting you know that that's not the popular path to take. He's saying that if there's few that be that find it, so you're looking at these major groups out here. And the Broadway got multiple lanes, man. Yep, you got multiple lanes in the Broadway. You got multiple lanes, man. Just like in the ancient world, these have roads that were very wide. You could have multiple people with horses and trailers and things like that going through that way. And then they have another place where you might be going through a city and it literally be just one way. Right, right. A straight way to go through. And you literally damn near have to go in through there one by one to be that narrow. You know, because it's kind of like when Paul went down there, there was that street that was literally called straight. And it's just a straight path when, yeah. you, when you look at it uh, uh, physically. Yeah. But then it's also a spiritual meaning to it, meaning that this is the straight way into salvation. Mm -hmm. You know, by going through, getting baptized, admitting your sins, mm -hmm. you know, and, and, and adhering to these principles. Yeah, that's why our, our, the message of the gospel is so very right. narrow, man. It's like, there's really no wiggle room, really. <laughs> it's none. It's no room. Really. When you start reading okay. these pages, man, yep. stuff to become very, like, linear to you. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Everything becomes very linear. It's like, you, it's like you, you hitting that wall, bro. Yeah. You can't, you, yeah. it's just a straight path, man. You can't you can't knock a hole in the wall or nothing yeah. like that. It's just going to lead you straight down here. This is what you have to do. Mm -hmm. That's why when you start hearing things, you just be like, okay, that's off. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's off. You watch yeah. it, you just meet a little, that's off. Yeah, yeah. You know, and that's what, if you're a brother, uh -huh. or a sister of faith, you want to develop that ear to be like, that's, this, that's why we go over these principles. You can go back and watch them, and you can see a very distinct message that was preached by Yahweh Shai, right, by right. his apostles, by his disciples. Mm -hmm. That is no way you can get around it. So someone can't come through telling you, oh, yeah. you know, we're going to be all, we're all going to see eye to eye in the kingdom. Right. That's, they, they, you know, that bygones, you know, they're like bygones, the bygones, all going to be okay. Yeah. You know, in the end, we all going to see eye to eye as people. That's that smooth words. Smooth That's what you want to hear. That's what your yeah. flesh wants to hear. That uh -huh. uh, okay, all this we going through, all those different camps going back and forth. Oh, so we go see how they are. Oh, that makes you feel a little bit better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, nah, your house is like, no, you don't believe me? Uh, cast the mount to outer darkness. <laughs> right. Uh, hey, then the fire don't ever be quenched. Cause see, Jake want to hit that easy button, man. Mm -hmm. You want to hit that easy button, but see, like it, like the scripture saying, you know, through much tribulation shall we enter into the kingdom. Right. So it's not easy at all, man. This is difficult. Man, I don't know, you know, and we ain't really been through no strong yeah. tribulation right now. Or persecution. Or uh, uh, persecution. The only thing that we're dealing with right now is, like, mental faculties right now. we like, man, why? Mm -hmm. Yo, can you get, well, what's going on here? And, mm -hmm. and it frustrates Jake. Because yeah. it's like, man, come on, get this, bro. Yeah, because you only yeah. want brothers and sisters to get it. Yeah. Sincerely. You know what I'm saying? Like we've always said even with them guys and uh, you know that we used to be a part of. Yeah, man. We want them to get the understanding, but shoot the most high, man, when he has beef against somebody, bro, it's no joke, man. Ooh, and and man, your words, your words. Mm -hmm. 
man, you can say something, man, to cut you off, bro. Yeah. You know what I mean? And, you know, just like he said in, in the scriptures, you know, you can blaspheme the Holy Spirit, and there's no forgiveness for that, man. Mm -hmm. And it's all it's all on the most high and how he wants to handle it. You can say certain things to his to some of his people. Mm -hmm. And he could just be like, you know what? I'm finna take it away from this guy. Yeah. You know? Yeah, because of what he said, he said, um, I will have he that he that, he that received you received me, he that received it not you. Uh -huh. It's not me and him that said it. Yeah, yeah. So a, a, a guy on a corner level will be like, F them, do, 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 do. Right, right, right. But then the most I'll be like, okay, you didn't accept them? He could do that. Yeah. And I'm going to bug you out. Man. Yeah, yeah. That's you, know, you didn't want to hear from my, my, my prophets? <laughs> no. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah. guess what? I'm going to put that shame in everlasting contempt. I'm going to put the blinder on. Woo! I'm going to choose your delusions. Uh-huh. Now I'm going to give you false doctrine. I'm going to give you false doctrine. I'm yeah. A, I'm going to pour it all upon you. Yeah, to put that shame on you, man, and then when the truth comes out, man, boom, hey, man, you up here, like, looking a certain kind of way, then you got to reinforce the lie and keep yep. on going with a lie. Woo, that's and that's scary. heavy. That's heavy. <laughs> that's really heavy, bro. Yeah, bro. You got to keep on reinforcing that lie. And that's Because now if you don't, you got to yep. admit that somebody else is right, and that's Woo. the last thing that Jake want to do. You know how much work that is, bro? Yeah. To keep up with that lie so that the truth won't come out? Mm-hmm. Whoa. Man, that's some heavy stuff right there, man. Man, these scriptures are powerful, bro. They are, bro. This is some heavy stuff, man. This is some serious, it's, serious stuff. This is Philippians. Go ahead. Go ahead. This is Philippians chapter three. I mean, <laughs> chapter four. I'm gonna just start at verse eight. Uh, this, this is Paul's. Uh, the letter Paul wrote to the Philippians. I, mean, I think he was in prison, wasn't he? Yeah, he might have been in prison yeah. at the time, right? Yeah. Finally, brethren, whatsoever things are true, whatsoever things are honest, whatsoever things are just, whatsoever things are pure, whatsoever things are lovely, whatsoever things are of a good report, if there be any virtue and if there be any praise, think on these things. Those things which ye have both learned and received and heard and seen in me do. And Yahweh. And the and the and the most high and the most high of peace shall be with you. But I rejoice in the Lord greatly that now at the last you care of me has put. That's, I was just wanted to get that point that uh in verse nine when when he said uh you know the things that you've seen me do. Mm -hmm. Paul. And what what things we didn't seen Paul do? Paul. Huh? Preach. Baptize. That's what I'm saying. No, teach people the Point way, blank. The way of, uh, yeah. of to eternal life. Yeah. Yep. That's right. There are persecution. There are affliction. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yep. Hey, that's what Paul said. I endure all things for the elect's sake. Mm -hmm. So that's a certain subset of people inside of this large nation, bro. It's not. And, and so if you're looking at that subset <laughs> that he's just dealing with, yeah, man. He didn't say for Israel's sake. He, he, didn't, he no. didn't say for Israel's sake. He said for, for the elect's sake, man. So if he is only caring about that elect, he cares nothing about that that other. They, 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 they fire food, bro. Yeah. That's right. All Israel that's going to be saved is going to be the elect of Israel. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. It's just like this. Yeah, you know, the Mosai delivered all Israel, but before that happened, there's generations of people that had died off yep. yeah right before he raised up Moses uh -huh. that during the time that Moses was, was away on as a fugitive for 40 years people had died yeah 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 they died and were buried in, the, in, in Egypt right 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 so the most right. high is you know it clears no piece of our precepts the most high is only is only wanting to deliver a portion of our nation man a yeah. portion of our nation that's very small even though we be as the sand of the sea mm -hmm. he said but well, yet I'm the only I think there was a, a, one of the scriptures, I forgot where it was, where he talked about it, he, he likened Israel to like a vine with, with grapes, uh -huh. a cluster of grapes, and he said, I'm going to just take that one grape. Yeah, yeah, That's what yeah. it's going to be like. Yeah, like man. A cluster of grapes and him just taking that one grape, that's the left. Because what, what's, what's so, so cool about it is that like when you get these, these principles down, you got to work on yourself afterwards, bro. Mm -hmm. That's what the whole thing is, is how you start to operate amongst each other. That's right. How you deal with your family members, how you dealing with brother to brothers, brother to sisters. You gotta be honest with yourself. You really gotta be honest. You really you know? gotta be honest with yourself, man. Yeah, yeah. Because that's where the perfection comes in. If you don't have that part, you uh you're missing a major part because you can you can go through this these principles 
and then lack compassion. Yeah. You can be a, a brother that doesn't have compassion. Yahweh Shaka showed much compassion. That's right. Paul showed much compassion. They 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 sympathize with their people, man. They wanted them to get it. They That's sincerely right. wanted them to get this. Yeah. Right. You know, gave them chance after chance. And yeah. one thing that I was I was looking at, you know, is 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 the humility. The humility is one of the most uh, prominent aspects that a brother has to have because when you look at all the major prophets and kings of Israel, they have to have a humble spirit about them. Look at Moses, man. Dude from a princely status and humbled himself all the way down to go amongst his brethren and then his brother's coming against him yep. and he still having to be humble to be like, brothers, why do ye this? You know, don't mm -hmm. do this. You know, yep. he could have been like, Mosai, kill him now. Yeah. You know, it's a volume of you, which, which you see that with some guys in Israel. Right, right. right. They, have the, they have the mentality. They have the, they have the mentality that, okay, like, you know, Tahar. Right, right. He saw an example of that. He believed that, okay, Mosai destroyed him, put you to death. I pray the Mosai put y'all. That's complete opposite of that, what how Moses was. Yep, yep, yep. He that showed no mercy shall be shown no mercy. So you, you know, it, it's not just. You get in the principles. And the worst thing about it, you're wrong. When he's wrong, you're, you're wrong right. When you want it. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. It's not like you was right, and then you you like you know. Right. You still be going off. Right, right. You're not the you're not the judger in execution. Uh huh. You know. That's right. What is that? And again, this is Matthew chapter seven. The, the lamb back with all the brother was saying, chapter seven, verse twelve. Therefore, all things whatsoever ye would that men should do to you, do ye uh, even so to them, for this is the law and the prophets. Right. So you can't even be a, a one that is a prophet unless you understand that. That is part of the aspect of being a prophet, is that you would want to be warned as well, just like another person, you yep. know? Yeah. And you're saying, man, what would I do if I was on the other side? Let me warn this person that they, you know, of the perils to come. Let me give this person the, uh, the gospel, the understanding. Let me go and do research. Let me go and do, let me pray and fast and see if I can get revelation about the right way. Because I want to make sure that not only I get it, right. but those that would hit, who, who should hear after. Right. Uh, after us. Right. That's how the mentality. Uh -huh. Yeah, that's, and that's what, right. That was, our, that was our mentality when we left. Uh -huh. We wanted, the, we wanted the, the truth and nothing but the truth, so help us get help. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Man, we no, didn't want no lies, no, bro. No leaven. No leaven, man. Hey, no, no status. No... No, uh, 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 no tights. No, yeah. you know, we 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 don't want to be exalted. Yeah, or nothing like that, man. Just brothers coming in with a humble spirit, you know, remorseful of the sins done in the past, mm -hmm. and move forward and help other brothers get to attain that same uh, status, man. Yeah. You know, because that, that's the way that the Lord did it. That's the right. way that you know it, the ones that came after him did it. You know, so why not? You know. Exactly. That's, that's how you want to operate, bro. And these things are ideal. It's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. Yeah, right. But uh, yeah, man. You know, it's just one of those things, man. You, you know, we always got to think about the humility inside the, the, this piece of ours. Because uh, that's, a, that's a major, major part. Yeah, you always got to understand why you preaching, man. Yeah, hey, look, 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 at you, look at your Lord and Savior. I mean, uh, the greatest example of humility. Come on, the, bro. The second, the, 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 with all that power to bring yep. himself down into an earthly vessel and then be in the midst of his own people who are downtrodden, which he could have just zapped them right there and just took them out. <laughs> Come yep. on, uh. In the midst of Herod, who yeah. he called a fox, he could have just been like, out of here. Snap of the finger. The Romans. He said, man, he could have threw legions of angels and wiped that place out. Man, that's the ultimate example of humility inside the scriptures. That's, man, you can't. You give Jake could, that kind of power right now. You give Jake that kind of power, oh, man. Let man. Esau come up there and spit on him. Man. Oh, man, Jake is destroying all Edomites. <laughs> oh, it won't be none left. And the, and the word, the prophecy won't be fulfilled. <laughs> Hey man, Jake would eliminate all man. enemies, man. <laughs> and you'd be like, oh man, you'd be like, man, Jake would. Jake, Jake would be, <laughs> Jake would destroy all the enemies. Prophecy still spoke. You'd be like, my fault. Go do it like you know a Tasmanian devil. Man, Jake would go crazy, man. Yeah, yeah. I was trying to the ultimate sign of the ultimate 
example of humility, man. Ultimate example. I was talking with the brother, man, about, you know, the I think we're, we're going into the uh, scripture about how Yahweh had rebuked the wind. You know, in the sea. And the yeah, God yeah. Obeyed him. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, right. that's we right. went to, you know, Proverbs chapter 30 and verse 4. Uh -huh. Yeah. You know? Who had gathered the wind and the fish. Yeah. You know, yeah. and then you go into Colossians. Yeah. He created everything invisible and invisible without any him he, was anything uh, made. That was made. Yeah. So he basically was going to his own creation, man. Yeah. To the his most own. high gave him that's how great the most high is that he created something after him, lesser than him, and that of uh, himself created everything you see exactly. visible and invisible. Yeah, yeah. Think about that. Yeah, yeah, that's a, that's a serious piece, man. And I, then he came down in man flesh to deliver his elect. To and deliver his to elect die. on the planet that he created. That's right. Come on. That huh? was given unto him after he fulfilled the prophecy of the Father. <laughs> yeah. It's like, well, this is a powerful. When you really think about that, man, <laughs> you're like, the you man. the stars and the moon and everything. And, and you and, created all that, bro. But then you went, you know? Yeah, man. Come on, man. Hey, man, right. that had to be something else to be a disciple in the midst of Yahweh Shai because he's. He's an open book, bro. Yeah. You're an open book in front of him. It's uh -huh. like, what's your thoughts? He reading them thoughts right there, bro. Yeah. And you know, like like Peter would always be like saying stuff off tilted, you know. Yeah, yeah. He'd be going out. He'd be <laughs> like, man, Peter, I'm about to tell you, because I already know the future. Yeah. <laughs> you gonna desire to know, hey, before the cock crow <laughs> twice, you shall deny me thrice. Yeah. yeah I already yeah. know. I wanna die before you. Yeah, yeah, so say it all the disciples. <laughs> <laughs> when it yeah, came, they was on the go. Yeah, I was Peter and all of them. They was on the run. Gone. Hey man, it was on that. It was like you. Now you better run for it. Hey, run, bro, for it. run. run. <laughs> hey, boy. I mean, man, well, just think about that, bro. I mean, you yeah. think about your mind now. I'm, I'm pretty sure those brothers, you know, they had their issues and and certain thoughts that came about. But being in the midst of this right here, this this Babylon, this confusion. With everything, wickedness at your hand on this side, this side, man, let the Savior come through here, bro. He was like, oh, no, man, no, oh, no. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's to get that out of my mind. Yeah. You feel like, man, your thoughts is jacked up around here, bro. Like, man. It's hot mess, man. That's yeah, let this place out this, man. Yeah, that's right. Wrap it up. Yeah, yeah we wrapped it pretty good. Yeah, that's some good stuff. Yeah, let's go into uh, Matthew. You have any scriptures off anymore? Nah, not right now. Okay. Yeah, this is uh, let's see, Matthew 26. This is Matthew 26 and 6. Now, when Yahweh Shai was in Bethany in the house of Simon the leper, there came unto him a woman having an alabaster box of very precious ointment and poured it on his head as he sat at meat. But when his disciples saw it, they had indignation, saying, To what purpose is this waste? For this ointment might have been sold for much and given to the poor. When Yahweh Shai understood it, he said unto them, Why trouble ye the woman? For she hath brought a good work upon me. For ye have the poor always with you, but me ye have not always. For in that she hath poured this ointment on my body, she did it for my burial. Verily, verily I say unto you, Wheresoever this gospel shall be preached in the whole world, there shall also this that this woman have done be so told for a memorial of her. And with that, we'd like to give all honor, glory, and praise to Yahweh, Shem Yahweh, Shah. Peace and blessings to the occupant that pushing this word in truth.